this. It's Frank. I need some backup at 10th and Lexington, the old Fairmont Hotel. I think I found him. What are you talking about? Billy Mason and his babysitter, David. All right, give me 10 minutes. And Frank, you stay cool till I get there. None of your long range of crap. I got your word? Yeah. Scout's on her. Uh, I mean it, Frank. David. 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 Help us. David, where's Billy? David, where's Billy? David, stay with me. says it's time to die. A lot of pressure on the entry point. ABGs. No, that's tight. Get a pressure. Stop blood. No heart sounds. He's not breathing. Possible tension pneumo. He's crashing. Starting two meters. I am sailing wide open. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? 
Clear. Okay. Still no pulse. VTAC to forget it again. One amp epi. Taylor, your ex-wife's here. Five minutes, he needs to rest. Jess. Hey. How's the babysitter? David didn't make it. Did they, uh, did they find Billy? Frank, every cop in the city is looking for Billy. They practically tore the building apart and he wasn't there. You bring that phone over here, I need to call his parents. What were you thinking, going in there by yourself? You know, you could have been killed. I was. That's not funny. A little bit funny. You can't go charging in there like that. You're not a cop anymore. Yeah, well, it's a good thing, because if I was, I'd still be waiting for you guys at the DA's office to get me a warrant. I have to go. Jess. Frank, you've got to stop punishing yourself. It is not going to bring our son back. Shadow, he'd go nuts if there was someone out there. See? The storm's coming, that's all. Kevin! Is he not up yet? No. you get him? Up and at him now. Kevin? Call it in. Right now! All I'm saying is that you should wait. Give yourself a week or two before you get back in the game. I'm fine. Fine? You almost died, Frank. And what kind of messed up dictionary is that the definition of fine? Almost doesn't count. Ah, yeah. Well, tell that to your doctors. 
a message received, okay? Now will you get off my back? Look, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm trying to watch your back. Why don't you get yourself a car? Oh, yeah. I could ask you the same thing. aren't treating us like criminals anymore. I know it's been hard, Mr. Mason, but uh, you have to understand when you're dealing with a child, the police are obliged to treat everyone like a suspect. Mr. Taylor, I don't care how I was treated. All I care about is Billy. And right now, the only two people who know what happened to him are dead. Susan. No. I don't want to keep hoping if there is none. But Mr. Taylor, please just tell us, do you think that Billy is still alive? I honestly don't know. seen in a while. What's that? A happy dog? No, you. Smiling. For a second there, I almost didn't recognize you. It's Friday night. Don't you uh, have a date or something? Nope. And I got lots of time. How long have you lived here now? Mm, about 18 months. Why? Because this place looks like UPS. Why don't you unpack some of this stuff? Make yourself at home. I don't know. I guess maybe because it's not my home.
Damn it, Frank. You can't just walk in here and rifle through my stuff whenever you please. We are not partners anymore. What's this? A hunch. You know, that little feeling that you used to get before they promoted you. Oh, don't push me, Frank. I'm not in the mood. The kid's drawing from the newspaper. What about it? Look at it. It's a simple diamond pattern. Exactly. Now, why would an eight-year-old draw this over and over again? I'll tell you why, Marcus. Billy is leaving us a breadcrumb here. I think this picture means something. This is a clue. I don't know, Frank. That's pretty thin. Then let me fatten it up for you. Oh, no, no, no way. Forget about Just it. Just give me one good reason. I'll give you two. You are not on the force anymore, and it's my ass if anyone finds out. Just let me have it for 24 hours. I can't just let you walk out of here with an act of Then fun. turn your back. me my pension. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Tattoo from the Tahitian to Tao means to mark. What? Discovery Channel. Looks like there's another tattoo underneath this one. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called a cover-up. I see them all the time. You got a tattoo you don't like, you just cover it up with another one. Uh, Lolita. Huh? Old girlfriend, maybe? No, uh, Lolita's also a sexual reference. It means he was into kids. Is there anything else I should know? Well, I don't know if this will mean anything to you, but when we were checking for the victim's DNA, we found trace amounts of potassium ferrous cyanide under his fingernails. What's that, some kind of poison? Sure, if you drink it. But mostly it's used for photo processing. Well, speaking of photos, can you get a picture of that? Yeah, sure, I'll just grab the camera. I don't mind telling you, this stiff, he gives me the willies. I'm glad we finally baked this sucker. Frank, Frank, can you hear me? <coughs> Frank, are you okay? What happened? I just got dizzy. It's no big deal. You want me to call you a doctor? You are a doctor. Yeah, well, when I get a patient, I usually don't have to worry about him driving home. Don't be too sure about that. something's wrong with me. Ever since that night, uh, the night I got stabbed, uh, <sighs> I've been seeing things. What kinds of things? Well, I think I saw him, Jess. Who? I think I saw him on the other side. Don't. Look, I know how this must sound, believe me. But uh, yeah. I feel like I'm losing my mind here. I have to tell someone. I told you that if you wanted to keep punishing yourself, you could, but I won't let you do it to me anymore. Kevin has been gone for nearly two years, Frank. Two years. They just want to know. What? That some twisted psycho murdered our son? Is that what you want to know? Is that the answer that you're looking for? 
I'm not like you, Frank. Why can't you understand that? I don't want the truth. I won't survive it. Where you been? Uh, pretty day, huh? Yes, it is. Why are you so down, man? How did you know that I was down? It's in your step. What? Where you walk. When you're in a good mood, you skip your left heel. When you're not, you don't. I think maybe I'm losing it, Henry. I think maybe losing Kev is finally starting to get to me. What if I told you that I was seeing things? That I'm being haunted? That'd make me crazy, right? <laughs> well, people are crazy and everything they're crazy. They think everybody else is, right? <laughs> Just suppose for a minute that what, what you're seeing is real. What do you think it means? That's just it. I don't know. Well, maybe you got yourself a ghost, Frank. You know, some restless soul with unfinished business. Do you actually believe that? It's not important what I believe. What matters is what you believe. It's your ghost. You know, sometimes it's not what you see. It's what you don't see. Can I help you? And here you come in. You a cop? No. Uh, private investigator. Name's Frank Taylor. Oh, well, yeah, I remember you now. You're, uh, you're the one. 
I beg your pardon? Yeah, yeah, you're the guy who got him. <laughs> Go figure, huh? We have a freak like that living right down the hall. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe you could tell me if you ever saw Simon with the other little boy that's still missing, Billy, Billy Mason. Well, I saw his picture in the paper, but uh, I haven't seen him here. Look, uh, Mr. Taylor, uh, I think we should leave. Cops told me this is a crime scene and uh, we're not allowed to be in here. Just one more question. If Simon was a super, that means he was your boss, right? Yeah. Did he take a lot of pictures? What do you mean, pictures? You know, photography. Was it a hobby? <laughs> Beats me, I mean, I hardly knew the guy. I mean, hanging out with my boss wasn't exactly my idea of fun, you know? Well, I guess that's it. Thanks. So, where are you going with the screwdriver? Oh, completely forgot I had it. Is that yours? Yeah. All right. Thanks again. Okay. See ya. Full name's Martin Eugene Grant. And? Nothing, Frank. No police record, not even a traffic ticket. The guy's clean. Okay, so we know from Simon's Lolita tattoo that he was into kids. You put that with the photochemicals underneath his fingernails and we've got child pornographer. But where's the camera? I mean, where's all the other equipment? There wasn't a single photograph found in that apartment. He must have been taking them someplace else. Exactly, but where? I mean, we figure that out, we find Billy. And the symbol that he drew on the newspaper, that means something. It's the key. Frank, you still there? Help us. trying, but I don't understand. Just tell me what it is. Jess, don't talk. Just listen. I know where Billy is. He's still in the same building. Now, I'm on my way to pick up Marcus right now. You need to get him a warrant. Based on what? Remember how I told you I was seeing things? Oh, come on, Frank. I'm supposed to go to the judge with one of your visions? Tell him it's our only chance to save Billy Mason. Be it logical, Frank. Give me something that I can use. I need real proof, hard evidence. Two years ago, Logic told me not to worry about a certain bump in the night. Listen, I know what I'm asking doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I am not ignoring another bump in the night, Jess. I can't. I won't. Before you say anything, there's something that I gotta get off my chest. I don't know how, but uh, when I flatlined at the hospital, something happened to me, something something beyond dying. It's like, it's like when they brought me back, the door to the other side didn't close all the way. It's like I got one foot in this world and, and one in the other. Yeah. Frank, what the hell, man? Where are you? I thought you were going to pick me up. This ain't funny.
Frank. Marcus, I found it. Simon's got a bogus wall in his closet. A hiding place. Stay where you are. Jess just called. She got a warrant. One on one. Billy? Billy? Save him, Frank. You couldn't even save your own son. Where's the boy? Ah! 
Where is he? Don't do it, Frank. Where is he? It's not worth it, Frank. Do it, Frank. Do it, Frank. You just got lucky. You have the right to not say a word. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to be accepted. Hey. It's okay, Billy. It's okay. Come on. It's time to go home now. Up, Frank. I'm fine. You get stabbed, you start acting strange, you tell me that you're seeing things. I don't think so. Okay, so maybe I'm not always fine, but uh, right now I'm pretty close. Will you at least think about talking to somebody? For me?